Hi, I'm David and this is The Biology Classroom. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to plan an experiment in Paper 5. This is the math scheme for Paper 5. This video will be focusing on the planning part, which breaks down to defining the problem and methods. There are two things you'll be tested in this section. Number one, making hypothesis. A hypothesis is an expression of the aim of an experiment or investigation as a prediction. It can be done in words or in the form of a sketch graph showing the expected result. You should make a statement that connects dependent and independent variables. For example, as temperature increases, rate of photosynthesis increases. Number two, identifying the variables. The first one is the independent variable, which is the factor that is manipulated or changed in the experiment or investigation. The second one is a dependent variable. It is a factor that is measured directly during the experiment. Sometimes you might have a hypothesis stated in terms of a variable that cannot be measured directly. You will be required to identify a measurable aspect of the experiment. For example, when you are using a respirometer, you might mention rate of respiration in the hypothesis. But when you are asked to identify the dependent variable, the answer should be distance moved by the water or air along capillary in a specific time. The third one is the control or constant variables. You will need to identify the key variables that must be standardized in order to test a hypothesis effectively. Remember to state those important factors, but not those that might have very little effects on the experiment. In this part, you will be asked to outline the procedure of an experiment. Your method should be detailed enough for another person to use. There are six things that you should include in your answer. Number one, how to vary the independent variables. You need to name the apparatus and the way to set it up. For example, when you are investigating how temperature affects an enzymatic reaction, you will vary the temperature of water bath by using a thermostatically controlled water bath. Then, give 5 specific values for this variable. For example, set up water bath at 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100 degrees Celsius. Make sure the gaps between the values are constant and the range of the values is logical. If you need to carry out serial dilution or proportional dilution to vary this variable, describe how it is done. Number 2. How to measure the dependent variable. You have to name the specific apparatus, measuring instruments, or materials needed. If any calculation is involved, describe it or state the formula. For example, number of bubbles produced by Elodia is divided by the time taken for the experiment to indicate the rate of photosynthesis. Number 3. How to standardize the constant or control variables. Describe the ways they are controlled and the apparatus needed. Here are some examples. Number 4. Detailed procedures. You do not have to repeat whatever you have mentioned in the previous parts. Focus on the techniques you learned in both AS and A2. For example, how to stain a specimen, how to set up a potometer, electrophoresis, chromatography, and so on. Consider the following as well. Are there any particular steps to carry out before you start the experiment or when you reset it? Is acclimatization needed? Do you need to make sure the apparatus is airtight? If so, how do you do that? Is a control experiment needed to prove the dependent variable is affected by the independent variable? If so, how to prepare it? Number 5. Reliability. Mention that you will have a logical number of replicates to get sufficient measurements to remove anomalous results and to obtain the mean value. Number 6. Safety and precautions. Identifying the areas where an accident or injury is most likely to happen and describe precautions that will need to be taken to minimize risks where possible. For example, when corrosive or poisonous solution is involved, eyes protection and gloves should be used. If that is a relatively safe experiment, state that it is a low-risk experiment. That's all for the planning skill in Paper 5. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. You can also follow my page on Facebook. See you again soon.